Hello guys, Beast here. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna give you three amazing easy tricks you can do with OBS. Maybe you'd like to know how to put a countdown timer in your OBS. Or put a dynamic interactive stuff for your viewers like Snoop Dogg. I will show you three different ways for which you can accomplish that. Or maybe you are afraid while you're streaming your screen will go black because you accidentally closed the program you're using. Maybe even worse, show stuff you didn't want to people to see, if you know what I mean. Well then, this video is definitely for you. Let's start with the first one, which we can all relate to. So before you started streaming, you were doing your usual stuff on the internet. And unfortunately, you had your window capture for your Chrome as one of the scenes on your OBS. Or maybe even your desktop capture. And for the sake of the video, let's assume that Notepad is a is a game people play and you were streaming it and showing people your awesome play. For some reason the game crashed or maybe just you exited the game by accident. Then what will happen? People will see the stuff you didn't want them to see. It can be a website you were in or maybe you were in your PayPal account, which believe me a lot of streamers has their PayPal account opened and showed it to thousands of viewers how much money they have made streaming. To avoid that embarrassment, all you need to do is make a safe layer in the sources between your main source you wanna show people, in this case it's notepad, in your case it's your game, and the source you don't want people to see, like your desktop or other window capture. You can put an image, your logo, icon, or whatever you have. In this case, I will show you by just putting a color source and add a custom text to it. Welcome to my stream. And now you can stream relaxing, relaxed, knowing no one will see your dark nodey secrets. Of course, when you want to show people your Chrome, you can always just click on the icon here to make the layer invisible. And when you finish, just click at it again to make it visible again. Now the second trick, how to show viewers an interactive image aka GIF image. Well, there are three ways to do so. First, which is kind of the obvious way to do it, is just simply add a GIF image you already have. If you have it with a background color, just go to filters by right clicking on it and remove the background color. Like I did so. Second, you can have a video that acts as a moving object. In this case, I went to YouTube, typed Snoop Dogg, green screen, and choose the video I wanted. Then I added a media source, chose the video. Of course, after choosing the video, you can adjust it the way you want to. Now you're probably asking, why did we choose a green screen video? And that's a good question. You can go to the filters of the video by right clicking and choosing filters. Then press on the plus button, add a chroma key. The default one is green in the key color type, but of course you can choose whatever color you want to remove. Anyway, in our case, we wanted to get rid of the green color. Hit close when you finish. And that's it. It's very simple and cool. Now the third way, we make our own GIF by choosing image slideshow. You can choose a directory, but for the sake of the video, let's choose files. Now what I did is took screenshots of my play, one after the other. You can of course do whatever you like. Then I, I just chose the images I wanted by click on the shift button and added the pictures. If you have Windows operating system, you can do that as well. And after choosing the images, Choose how much time you want between each slide and at what, what speed. 
for me these numbers are fine but of course you can experiment which best suits your needs and for transition choose cut because we are making a gif image and that's it look how awesome it looks of course you can resize it as you want but I will keep it big so you can see now for the third and last trick let's make a countdown timer in this case I went to Google and wrote countdown timer but of course you can go to any website you like that has this option after choosing choosing the website you like go to OBS choose window capture and of course choose the window that has the countdown timer and in my case it is this one I will remove the cursor because there is no need for it when my intention is only to show the countdown timer now I will readjust by pressing the alt key on my keyboard and adjust it the way I like it and of course you can resize it as you want normally without holding the alt key you can make it bigger or smaller after you've done that you want to go to filters which we already know how and make it look better to suit the background we have in this one we don't want chroma key because if we try to remove the white color as you can see it disappears if you did it by accident just remove the chroma key from the filters let's add a color key and adjust it the way we want play with these so you make it look better for me I put the brightness on minus 1 contrast at 0 0.91 gamma at 1 smoothness at 1000 and similarity at 1000 now let's go to filters again and adjust the sharpness after experimenting with it I find it at 0 0.3 fits my need so that's what I do and there you have it a countdown timer for whatever reason you need it good luck if you found it helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to get notified when my next video is up and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to answer your questions. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. See ya.